Hello, everyone. Welcome to your Daily Five. I'm Joe Duarte from Joe Duarte and the MoneyOptions.com, author of the best selling options trading for dummies and the everything investing in your 20s and 30s books. If you like what you see here, please consider a free two week trial to my website, Joe Duarte and the MoneyOptions.com. Today, I want to discuss and dissect two easy to reproduce speculative option trades. These are real trades that I delivered on my website uh, just recently, and they gained $500. So the goals for the presentation are to define options, to pinpoint the right time to trade options, and to dissect two real-life, easy-to-reproduce, profitable option trades. All right? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Why do we want to trade options, especially in this type of market? The truth is that stocks are too expensive. You have stocks like Costco that trade at near $600, NVIDIA $580, $590, Apple, Microsoft. uh, They're just outrageously expensive. So options are a cost-effective alternative as well as being a risk management tool. So let's catch up here a little bit. You have some basic definitions to keep in mind in case you're not an experienced options trader. Uh, So a call option, of course, is a bet on rising prices for all intents and purposes. A put option is a bet on falling prices. When you buy options, it's a speculative trade um, and uh, it actually gives you the right to buy an underlying asset at a preset or strike price by the expiration date. When you sell options, you're trying to generate income and that when you sell an option, you have the right to sell the underlying asset at a preset or strike price um, by the expiration date. So here's some task tactical aspects of options. Uh, of course, risk management, you can use them as portfolio hedges. Uh, you can use them as protective puts uh, for pro- profit preservation. Of course, you have a stock that's gone up a lot and looks like it's starting to get a little toppy, but you don't want to sell it. So you buy put to protect your gains. Uh, spreads, uh, when you buy and sell stocks uh, simultaneously to produce income, collars uh, help you to protect um, gains uh, in stocks uh, during special events such as earnings. Uh, straddles, of course, are those uh, uh, interesting uh, strategies in which uh, you, you buy a put uh, or, or you buy a call and sell uh, and uh, buy a put simultaneously uh, and you hope that one of the options skyrockets and uh, the other one, of course, will go worthless. Uh, but, you know, you hope that the gain uh, on the winner is big enough to offset the loss. Uh, these are portfolio hedges uh, and, and a little bit of uh, income producing option uh, activities or um, strategies. And of course, you want to do uh, what we're going to talk about today is speculative gains, which is capitalizing on the price movement uh, of the underlying stock uh, or asset with a with a reduced risk to your capital. So it's really a stock proxy strategy. And of course, um, call option offers you the opportunity to participate in the price trend with a lower price than the stock. And of course, it has a higher potential percentage gain because of the leverage. And a put option uh, is a lower risk strategy uh, for uh, capitalizing when your uh, stock falls um, uh, without taking the risk of short selling. And of course, you have the income production, which are covered call strategies, naked puts, spreads, those sorts of things. Again, today we're going to talk about uh, speculative trades. So there's some strategic strategic requirements for the speculative option trades. And the most important thing that I want people to take away from this video is you want to keep it simple. So you want to trade with the trend in an up market. You want to focus on call options in a down market. You want to uh, focus on put options and you want to trade options on liquid stocks because when you trade options on illiquid stocks, um, you can uh, the risk of loss is uh, much higher. So again, as usual, when you look at the advanced decline line, you want to trade with the trend. Uh, uh, in this case, um, we see that we had a nice rally uh, to end uh, last year, and things are getting a little bit topsy-turvy now. Um, and uh, uh, that's a great time to look for options because uh, you see that uh, volatility, as in the CBOE volatility index here, uh, is rising. And you can see that rise. And when that volatility rises, uh, it's, it, it should make you think of two things. Number one, stocks are risky, but number two, options uh, are ripe 
uh, for trading because options love volatility. So again, trade with the trend. And you might want to look at the short-term trend so you can uh, participate when the market goes up for a few days uh, or down for a few days uh, with options uh, with a lot less risk than with stocks. So again, confirming what you see in the advanced decline line, you see uh, uh, you look here at the S&P 500 and again, you want to focus on, on what's happening here. Of course, we saw the big rally uh, at the end of 20. Uh, 23 uh, and the topsy turvy action in the market in the early 2024. And you want to focus on accumulation distribution, which tells you what the short sellers are doing. And in this case, uh, we see that the short sellers are actually uh, covering their short positions. Uh, but at the same time, we see that the on balance volume line is rolled over, and that tells you that uh, buyers are turning into sellers as they take profits up here. Uh, when you see this divergence and accumulation distribution and on balance volume. Uh, you, you want to think of the possibility for short squeezes and increased volatilities, okay? Uh, at any time, these two things could reverse and then of course the trend reverses. So you wanna make sure that when these things diverge, uh, it confirms what you saw in the volatility index, which means the volatility is likely to increase. So we're keeping it simple here. Uh, concentrating on liquid stocks, and you want to look for that turbulence and volatility in stocks, as we saw in the advanced decline line in the S&P 500. And then you want to look at what's happening in the news, the events, and how the stock that you're choosing, the underlying stock, is responding. So again, uh, just a quick review. You want to see if you're in a basing or topping formation or a choppy uh, trading pattern. Uh, is the stock gaining or losing traction? In other words, accumulation distribution on balance volume. Are we seeing short covering? Are buyers coming in? Are we near a breakout? Are we breaking down? Uh, are we in a momentum run or topping action? These are the things you ask yourself before you commit to trading options. So let's quickly, quickly move into our trades here, okay? And both trades uh, uh, happened uh, in early 2024, a period of increased volatility uh, and uh, the trades involved Apple, okay? And again, Apple, very liquid stock that was in the news. Uh, they were having problems with some uh, patent-related patent, uh, uh, patent -related issues with their iWatch. Um, there were rumors that they were discounting the iPhone in China and sales were about to go down. Um, and, and then we were focused here at the end of uh, 2023. Uh, we see that uh, the stock uh, broke below that uh, 20 uh, day moving average and started bouncing around. So when it came back over here on the um, 29th, the last trading day of 2023, uh, we bought a put option because this volatility here drew our attention and the failure of the stock to bounce above the 20 day moving average also drew our attention. So that tells you the stock is weak. You can see again the divergence accumulation distribution over here at the end of the year. There was uh, short sellers piling on, and boy, heavy selling pressure from on balance volume. Uh, and so what we did was we uh, uh, on 12/29/23 we got uh, an Apple February 16th $185 put option at 294, and uh, by the uh, first few days of 2024 we see that the the stock had. Uh, gone down significantly, but found support at the 200 day moving average. When it started coming back in uh, around uh, inside this uh, lower Bollinger Band as a signal that it was gonna bounce. And so we closed the option uh, trade at $7. And the trade uh, returned $406 per contract, 140%. These are all verifiable uh, at joeduarteandthemoneyoptions.com. And you can have a look with a free trial to the service, two weeks, no cost. Um, and uh, again, we saw that choppy trading pattern that preceded the fall that broke below the 20 day moving average, uh, accumulation distribution fell, lots of short selling. Uh, and we saw that the, the ROC, which is a good measure of momentum, was um, uh, starting to fall, the RSI. Again, down here, you saw RSI was uh, getting a little bit oversold. So guess what? Uh, we took the trade out. So again, a speculative put option uh, which meets all the criteria, uh, volatile market, excellent uh, technical uh, indication because the stock is liquid and, and that liquidity really cleans up the technicals. 
So let's look at our other uh, trade, which also involves Apple. So what we did is knowing full well that the stock uh, was likely to turn around because it had moved back inside this Bollinger Band, we started looking uh, to see uh, where um, the indicators were um, reversing. And okay, guess what? Uh, right around uh, the early part of the year, uh, right here around the 9th of January, uh, accumulation distribution turned up, which means the short sellers were covering their bets. And we saw at least a stabilization of the on-balance volume, which means that the selling had stopped, but we didn't see a big bounce up. So this is a hint that this was likely to be a, uh, uh, a bounce trade or a short-term trade. And so what we did was uh, we got in on January 9th at $3. And by the 18th, the stock had bounced back to the 20-day moving average. And uh, uh, that was a signal that it was time to get out because uh, the unbalanced volume just was not supportive. Uh, and so we, we took out our profit, $120 per contract. Uh, and uh, uh, this... Uh, Return here is uh, incorrect. This is actually about 40% um, return. So I want to make sure that's clear. That's a bit of a typo. Uh, but again, the, the, big, the big picture here is that by applying your technical indicators uh, and, and your knowledge of, of how these liquid stocks uh, tend to uh, behave, you can make some very profitable short-term speculative uh, option trades. Again, the key here that tells us that this stock is probably not going to be uh, making much more progress here is that this on balance volume uh, was uh, heading lower and that the bounce in the stock was more than anything short covering because accumulation distribution was rising. So let's put it all together. We had two trades. It took uh, 10 days to develop. We made $526, which com combined, which is about 180% uh, gain. Uh, and the maximum risk of loss was $594. Uh, so our profit and our loss was relatively close uh, because when you buy or sell puts uh, and calls, uh, the maximum loss is your initial investment. So we always want to trade with the market trend. You want to stay with those liquid stocks. And the setup uh, for the trade starts with looking for that turbulence and volatility. So look at your volatility index. Uh, and uh, uh, you want to see what, what the stock is doing, uh, especially when they're in the news, and how they respond. And analyze those money flows, accumulation distribution, on balance volume. Volume by price is always an excellent uh, tool. Didn't focus on it too much, but it's worthwhile. Lots of my other videos focus on that, so you might want to check those out. And the key here also is you never want to stay in an option trade too long. Okay, and that, that's key. You saw we got out uh, with profits in a few days. Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, I'm Joe Duarte from Joe Duarte and the Money Options.com. Please uh, consider a free two week trial to my service if you like this. Uh, uh, the option trades um, are, are increasing currently because the market is increasingly volatile. And of course, you always want to consider checking out my Options Trading for Dummies, number one best-selling book, and uh, the Everything Investing in Your 20s and 30s uh, books. Now, also, uh, I really appreciate the support I've been getting about my, at my Buy Me a Coffee page, which is a uh, uh, additional site with lots of information, which corresponds to what goes on uh, at Joe Duarte and the Money Options that come. Uh, especially focuses on uh, real estate, home builders, uh, real estate investment trusts, those uh, types of investments. And we have special reports and in-depth analysis. And there's all kinds of new stuff there all the time. And as always, remember, trading is uncertain. Always be prepared. <laughs>